Hey everybody, welcome back to A Day in the Life. It's a beautiful day outside and um, would be fun to working on chainsaws or going and telling somebody about Jesus, but um, we have something even better today. Today, uh, we're doing a little bit of a Bible class with my beautiful girls, and then we're gonna do uh, office work. So you're gonna get a taste of the real missionary life. This lesson, we're learning how to love our enemies. Who is your neighbor? Who is your neighbor? And how to love our enemies, right? Comment down below. Who is your neighbor? Why don't you read us your first question and tell me your answer? Who is your neighbors? Who are your neighbors? What did Jesus mean? He said, love your neighbors as yourself. In what ways can you love your neighbors the way you love yourself? Um... Everyone is our neighbor. It doesn't matter if they're your enemies, if they live in Florida, if they live in Mexico, if they live anywhere really. Everyone, everyone is your neighbor. And so how should you love them? Um, you can just show, show them the love of Jesus. And it's a pretty generic answer. <laughs> What do you think? This is Sunday school? Give me a real answer. The Bible. <laughs> so, um, one of the questions I read today was, what is the difference between a fair weather friendship and a true friend? Whom, to whom does the Bible say you should show um, friendliness? So, um, the first part is, what is the difference between a fair weather friend? What is the difference between a fair weather friend and, um, and, and a true friend? Um, so, a true friend, like, God shows examples of having true friends. And true friends are there to care for you, and um, they want to be your friend and they care about you and they care about how you're feeling and they care about your opinions and fair weather friends are just kind of there and they want to be your they think they're your friends just because it's convenient for them or because um or because um because they just sometimes they'll just be using you like They'll have lots of broken stuff. They'll say, oh, I know a guy who can fix them. And then I'll just be their friend and they'll do and they'll do it for me. So I don't have to do it. And that's kind of an example of a fair weather friend. And the Bible says we should show kindness um, to everyone, even our enemies and the people who it's harder to show kindness to. Well, uh, we finished doing a little bit of homeschool and uh, now we're just doing some office work. Um, a day in the life. Uh, you know, we are so blessed uh, serving with the International Mission Board uh, to have uh, so many people supporting us in the States. Um, and uh, we want to be good stewards of that. We want to be um, accountable for, for all of our finances. And so uh, part of the missionary task is uh, doing expense reports. And um, typically I spend about uh, one day a week um, at my computer, filling out reports and following up with emails and uh, turning in receipts and things like that. Um, and uh, I'm just, you know, regular old team member. Um, the more supervision you have, the more time our missionaries spend doing this. It's a lot of work, uh, especially for our team leaders and our other supervisors. They work so hard. Uh, behind the scenes, spending countless hours in Zoom meetings and on computers uh, doing office work um, so that we can uh, be here uh, telling people about Jesus. So I'm sure uh, Jake would love to be in this video. You know, he's our team leader for uh, the Mexico Mix Tech team. And um, man, he works so hard at his desk every day. Um, every day he spends countless hours uh, keeping the train on the tracks communicating with leadership, making sure that we have access to the finances we need, 
uh, to do the ministry we're here doing. And on top of that, uh, he's also out making disciples and sharing the gospel. So um, remember to pray for Jake and uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. A perfect example of this um, yesterday, uh, Jake took my truck uh, to the city we go to to shop about eight hours away uh, to get some maintenance done on my truck and to go to the doctor, do some medical stuff. And um, while he was there, Daniel texted and and somehow we found out that they just changed the driving restrictions in in that city. Um, and so my truck is registered in a different state. And uh, and now uh, for me to legally drive in the city we go to to shop, I can only drive from like 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Monday through uh, Monday through Friday and like every other Saturday afternoon or something like that. And so. Um, it's going to be a couple trips and DHLs and lots of hard work from our logistics guys in Mexico City. And most likely we're going to have to register my truck in a different area. Um, our logistics guy ended up jumping on with, with Jake and getting him a, a tourist permit so he could finish his errands in the city without worrying to get pulled over. And um, just a whole lot, of, whole lot of logistics for one, one slight little change. Um, that's just a perfect example of uh, the other side of the missionary life. Um, there's lots of people working really hard at a desk just like this all over the world uh, so that these indigenous groups and, uh, and, and those who have not heard can hear the gospel. And so um, remember all the hard work of, uh, of those behind the scenes as you're praying for our ministry.